The effects of modern technology gave a Brockton man the chance to witness the birth of his firstborn while he was stationed in Iraq. Jeff Allison now with this report. Although he was thousands of miles away stationed in Iraq, U.S. Marine Corps Lance Corporal Tyrell Green completed a very special mission recently, assisting his wife Melissa with the birth of their first daughter. Green is serving with Marine Wing Squadron 371 in Assad, Iraq, but was at his wife's bedside thanks to video teleconference equipment at Caritas Good Samaritan Medical Center and the support of the Freedom Calls Foundation. The initial investment was made to maintain an educational relationship between doctors at St. Elizabeth's Medical Center, a Caritas hospital, and doctors in Korea. Melissa Green was thankful to have her husband by her side. I mean, there's, I didn't expect him to be there in front of me on a, a webcam, but everything happened so fast uh -huh. and everybody got everything together. Uh -huh. So it was a miracle for that to happen, <laughs> for me to actually be able to see him and for him to be able to see me. The Freedom Calls Foundation is a New Jersey-based nonprofit organization that fosters communication between deployed troops and their families at home. We uh, formed the foundation almost four years ago because we heard about a National Guard soldier, I think it was Massachusetts National Guard, who had a $7,000 cell phone bill. He was fortunate enough to be uh, have cell phone access in Iraq, but unfortunate enough to spend seven thousand dollars trying to talk to his family. We built a network, a satellite network, that reaches now uh, forty to fifty thousand of those deployed in Iraq, and um, we conduct two thousand conferences a month, video conferences such as this at hospitals, churches, uh, other venues throughout uh, the country, including. Um, uh, nearly 500 conferences from people's homes, so they can conference right across their kitchen tables uh, three times a month and, and talk to their loved ones and have the kids see dad and go along. The video teleconference equipment is also used for meetings and presentations, cutting down on drive time and mileage expenses for staff and physicians. On a clinical side, the Tanberg 500 camera, server, and related software can also play an important and efficient role in stroke diagnosis, as explained by Caritas' Dave Texera. We have six hospitals here at Caritas Christi in the Caritas Christi network. Each one of our hospitals has one of these Tanberg 8000s in it. Um, and we use these to have live meetings over our internal network. Dan Mazzola, who I interviewed during a teleconference, noted that the biggest challenge associated with the new equipment is scheduling time for all of its uses. So uh, one of the biggest challenges, believe it or not, that we face is not the technology. The technology works great. It's scheduling the rooms. Right. Because everybody's clamoring. You can learn more about this awesome technology by logging on to caritaschristi.org. And if you'd like to help connect a troop with his or her loved one, check out freedomcalls.org. This is Jeff Fowler reporting for Bridgewater This Week.